Gemini 2.0 is here and it's changing everything we know about AI, but should you actually pay for it? I had to see for myself, so I put Gemini Advanced and ChatGPT Plus through the ultimate test to see which one is a better deal for $20, and the results shocked me. What was meant to be just a simple test for the video ended up forever changing my workflow. So today we'll be putting Gemini and ChatGPT head to head across six different factors to see which one is truly worth your money. We'll compare integrations, speed and performance, research capabilities, intelligence, features, and mobile functionality. Let's get right into it. Being a Google product really gives Gemini a huge advantage, and with 2.0, we get some insane integrations. My favorite one is YouTube. It's a game changer if you're studying or doing your research. You can do things like search for specific content, transcribe, and summarize videos. I especially love the Ask About feature on mobile. This is literally how I watch videos now. Imagine skimming through 10 summaries in the time it would take you to watch just one video. Gemini now also works with works space doing a ton of work for you. You can invoke apps using the ad sign or just ask it to do something with workspace. It is somewhat limited, but it can already do things like adding in notes or giving you a list of unanswered emails. Google's clearly pushing towards the future where we just give AI one command and it does all the work for us. This is where, for me, ChatGPT really falls short. There is an integrations feature on the Mac desktop app that can see apps like Notion and work with writing tools, but it is pretty limited. So on this front, Gemini takes the win. Now, let's talk about intelligence. Gemini 2.0 got an insane upgrade, and it's now so much smarter than before. I find that it's especially good at things like strategy and brainstorming. It has a ton of inside information, which makes it good at advice on things like YouTube algorithm, Google ads, or SEO. I also find that it's very creative and gives much better ideas than ChatGPT. But when it comes to prompts, I feel like it struggles a lot at understanding simple instructions and does almost too much. And well, writing is still incredibly bad, it has AI generator written all over it. So I find myself kind of juggling both, using Gemini for ideation and strategy, and using ChatGPT to refine my writing and math. So I guess both win here. Now let's discuss some key features. Gemini has introduced pretty unique functionality that I now use all the time, like exporting the answers to docs or Gmail without having to copy and paste them. This is super useful for things like drafting. We can also double check a response to make sure it's up to date. And finally, you can select part of the text and ask Gemini to edit it, like make it shorter or regenerate it. But compared to ChatGPT, I'm still missing some basic features, especially when it comes to organization. ChatGPT has a feature called Projects, which basically lets you organize all your chats into different folders, like having calorie counting in one folder and finance in another. Now, Gemini doesn't have this feature, so the dashboard looks like a complete hot mess of random chats, and it doesn't help at all that they don't have a search bar, so if you lost something, you'd be looking for it for hours. In ChatGPT, you could just type whatever you could remember and the chat would pop up. Gemini is also definitely missing a desktop app. I love the ChatGPT one. I can invoke it easily and use it across screens and tabs without having to open it in browser. Gemini also doesn't have the Canvas feature, which lets us edit a file directly inside ChatGPT, but it is pretty easily replaceable with the Gemini extension inside of Google Docs. The rest of the features are pretty comparable, but I'd say ChatGPT wins this one. Now, let's talk about speed and performance. Gemini 2.0 was built with speed in mind, and I do find that it's incredibly fast. Definitely beats ChatGPT on that front, but when it comes to performance, it's seriously lacking. Sometimes it randomly starts working with workspace apps when you don't ask it to and then gives you an error message. And don't even get me started with the I'm just a language model error when you ask it to do something you clearly can do, which pisses me right off sometimes. And the only way to go around those errors is to start a new chat, which is super annoying sometimes. So while ChatGPT isn't as fast, it performs so much better. So we'll give it a point on this one. I have a confession to make. I can't live without the Google Gemini Assistant. I ask it anything from general questions to doing something in my workspace, like setting a reminder. And I absolutely love the Ask About feature. It can analyze websites, YouTube videos, photos, or anything else, really. It's an absolute time saver. 
There's also the live mode, which lets you have real-time conversations with Gemini, which can be super helpful. Now, ChatGPT also has a pretty amazing feature called the advanced audio mode, which allows you to have real-time conversations with it while sharing your screen or showing it something with your camera. It is pretty impressive, but to be honest, I haven't really used it. I think this type of feature would be more useful on desktop rather than mobile. And it also takes the triple time to open rather than just saying, hey, Google. So safe to say, Gemini Assistant is everything and it definitely wins this category. We live in a time when AI can do all research for us and both apps have this functionality. But as you may have guessed, Gemini having unlimited access to Google has a pretty strong advantage here. They first released the deep research feature, which literally searches the whole internet for you, pulling information from dozens of websites and giving you a full research analysis at the end. ChatGPT copied this feature a couple of weeks ago, but it's only available on the pro plan at $200 a month, which is a complete ripoff. Even Perplexity now has a similar feature for free, so it's definitely not worth it. If you need AI to analyze large documents like research papers or reports, I'd also go with Gemini. Their models support 1 million tokens and the pro one goes up to 2 million, which basically means it can analyze huge amounts of information without losing track of important details. Now, ChatGPT can also analyze files, but I wouldn't use it for longer ones. The token usage is still in the thousands, so it might miss out on a ton of important information. So if you're doing your research, I'd definitely go with Gemini. Before this test, I had never even really touched Gemini, and now I can't imagine my life without it. I use it all the time for brainstorming, strategy, and with workspace apps. On my phone, I open it pretty much 24 seven to ask it questions about something on my screen, summarizing videos and articles. And when I do my research, I go straight to deep research in Gemini and just review the report it generates. That said, I still rely on ChatGPT for more structured tasks like writing and math. It might sound less exciting than Gemini, but those basics matter a lot to me. Unfortunately for my wallet, I'm keeping both subscriptions, but if I had to pick one, I'd go with Gemini for integrations, mobile use and research, and ChatGPT for more solid, straightforward tasks. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love learning more about Gemini 2.0 and ChatGPT new features. In these videos, I break down in detail exactly how to use them. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really supports this channel. And see you in the next video.